before we start, I'm issuing a $1,000 challenge to anyone who can debunk this video. I will pay you $1,000 and I will delete my channel if you can debunk this video. That's how confident I am that you Globetards cannot debunk this video because you cannot debunk fact, you cannot debunk truth. But please, I, 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 I'm, I've been in a pissed off mood lately and I just want to just rip people apart so bad. I'm just in that mood. I'm feeling, I'm, I'm like that. And if $1,000 isn't enough for you, I'll up it for you. I'll triple it. I'll quadruple Let's just make it happen. So I think about two years ago, I made a video proving the flat earth. And you know, the haters are always on my nuts and they're always hating. But, but what really made me want to make this video again is that recently I was on a plane flying because, you know, I guess the bread gets the money. I was on vacation again and I was thinking planes fly at around 250,000 feet in the air. And to get into orbit, they say, supposedly to get into orbit, is 260 feet. Think about that. 10,000 feet. 10,000 feet. We're flying that high. For one, the plane's not getting all crushed and everything. It's not getting on fire. Nothing even, nothing. It's supposed to be fine, but you're, you're that close to being, to reaching orbit, to, to getting sent into orbit. And not once has there ever been a plane that's been accidentally sent into orbit. You find that kind of fishy and kind of odd, right? right it's not just me right and another thing that i thought about when i was on that plane to go around the earth one time it takes about 45 hours to go around the earth once it takes 45 hours but to get to space the space of all things of all places it takes you ready you ready for it 10 minutes Clearly, someone's lying. Either they're lying about the time it takes to get to space or the time it takes to go around the Earth. Someone is lying. Because you you know their numbers don't make any sense here. The numbers make no sense. But you globetards, you, I believe in science. I believe what the scientists tell me. The astronauts so... Shut your mouth. You blindly believe in this, this garbage. Blindly believe in what NASA and JAPA and JAXA, whatever the hell these space agencies are. Believe what they're telling you. NASA stands for National Sex Agency because they keep fucking us and stealing our money. And you losers, you globetards keep buying into this. You keep giving money to the government. And I would say something about my taxes, but I do not want to get raided, so I'm not going to say anything. You get what I'm saying? You get my gist, right? <laughs> government. It's not what you think. And something else that I find pretty funny, Ronald Reagan, he may be thinking, Oh, what does Ronald Reagan have to do with any of this? Shut the hell up and listen, I'll tell you, all right? So Ronald Reagan was the first, supposedly, quote unquote, the first president to, um, to send something like, to send people to the moon, right? Stick with me here. Ronald Reagan, before he was president, he was a Hollywood actor, an actress, because he's a pussy boy. He was a Hollywood actor and um, he became president. Get what I'm saying, right? Space was... But what is that song? Space was produced in the Hollywood basement. The space was Hollywood basement. Space was made. Space was cre. What was it? I can't remember. Space was made in the Hollywood basement. Yes, it was that. The Red Hot Chili Peppers. Those people. The band. Whatever. Ronald Reagan, with connections to Hollywood, sent the first spaceship into space to the moon, to the moon, sent people, oh, now we're supposed to believe it. All these messed up stuff, all this film, the filmography, filmography, whatever you call it, all this stuff, all wrong with, with the space, with the moon landing, and all the ISS, and all this, and satellites. You don't see any satellites, do you? You just see stars up there. You've never seen a satellite before. None of this. Ronald Reagan, he's he's proficient in lying. He, first off, he's a politician. He was an actor. He was an actress. Pussy boy. He was an actress. So he's a perfect politician, a liar, a deceiver, a fraud, a fakester, a trickster. So he was the perfect president to 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 create this, to create NASA and steal our money, National Sex Agency, and keep fucking us and fucking us and fucking us, stealing our money. And if you didn't know. Hollywood funds 
NASA. And if you don't believe me, look it up. It's clearly, it's like, it's, it's so easy to look up. Don't take my refrain, look it up. People, you have to open your minds here. You cannot believe that every, you cannot believe everything that you're being told. You cannot believe what the government is telling you. Sure, you can tell them the sky is blue. The government tells me the sky is blue. I question it. I question it. I, qu I did question it. It may sound crazy, but this is how you have to live, especially with the NSA, National Sex Agency. Um, <clears throat> a little side note that ties into this. Ronald Reagan was a Democrat when he was in Hollywood, and then somehow he became a Republican to dupe the dumbass Republicans when he came into office. He's a fraud, he's a fake, he's a trickster. He lied about his political affiliation to get votes because he knows the Republicans are some of the dumbest idiots out there. So just a side note, just a side note, just a side note. And also, shout out to John Hinckley Jr. You're an, you're an American hero. Even though you failed, even though you failed, you succeeded in my heart. Check out my video about him. Um, John Hinckley Jr. is a hero. Watch that video. On to my next point. Since the earth is round, that means there are people who are technically upside down. The Australians the new zealanders all those people in that area the japanese yes so um tell me how two things actually i know i know how was how they're gonna respond but you know answer these two questions for me without appealing to what i'm gonna say after this so, so stay tuned um one how aren't they falling off earth into space and two why isn't all the blood rushing to the head oh i know gravity oh let's if we can't explain something, let's just say an invisible force that we've never seen, felt, touched, heard, smelled, anything, interacted with, did it. Oh my gosh, that's science. Don't you clowns accuse the religious people of doing the same thing? Oh, but since the, you're not saying it's God, it's okay. It's not God. So technically, I'm not doing the science of the gaps fallacy. Yes, I just claim science of the gaps fallacy. Yes. Science of the gaps fallacy. Ga gravity is a part of it. Gravity does not exist. What the hell are you talking about? Things just fall and that's just that. I'm trying to say, oh, gravity. Oh, it's bring all this, the earth into being. It crushed all this. Why isn't the earth crushed into rubble right now? Why is the earth a perfect sphere? No, it's not perfect. It's an oblate sphere, right? Right? But why? Why isn't it crushed already? It should be crushed. It's already being crushed right now because it's obviously not a perfect sphere. It's an oblate sphere. We're at the poles. It's 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 squished. It's like extended, right? Explain to me why. And all the why isn't the blood rushing to your head? Oh, because the gravity's pushing it back up. What? Huh? What? I thought gra I thought gravity crushes things back into place. What it was you? How is now gravity pushing the blood back up into their? back like you i can't even explain it because that's how stupid it sounds <laughs> you you, you, fucking, you fucking, fucking globe tards it's, it's just hurting my brain right now trying to it's like all the blood is rushing to my brain it's like i'm making this video upside down i'm losing my mind because you people you people try to make us flat earthers seem like we're crazy like i'm i feel like i'm losing my mind right now trying to explain this garbage ass stupid ass stuff and it's like i'm like like, like, like fairy tales right now there are grown people who vote, who pay taxes, who have children, who go to work every day, who believe that the earth is round. What the fuck? And there's scientists out there, quote unquote scientists, aka liars, aka propagandists, aka actors, aka false flaggers, aka people who are going to hell that's saying the earth is round. Saying that, that we've been all through space, that we're seeing light years away. Do you know how long a light, light, look. People, light years is not time. Light years is supposed to be distance. And it's an insane amount of distance. And we're somehow we're, we're seeing things that are light years away. Billions and trillions and quadrillions and quadrillions and suck my dick billions away? What? I'm I'm just losing. I gotta calm down. I'm sorry. I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. I will debate anybody. I will debate any astrophysicist, any layman, any biochemist, any teacher, any child, any man, any woman, anybody on earth who thinks that they can that they can debunk the flat earth. Because look, I've like I said that I pro that I proved the flat earth. I technically didn't prove the flat earth. 
What I did was debunk the round earth, the globe earth, the globe tards idol that they worship. I will easily prove the flat earth for one, and then I will debunk the globe earth again and again and again. Whoever wants to debate, let's do it. I'm fine with it because at this point, people are pissing me off. Making fun of us all day. All these losers on social media who can't even prove the round earth. They can't even prove it. Will make fun of me. Will make fun of us. And and the funny part is that I can actually prove the globe earth. Like if I was a globe tard who believed in the lies that the scientists told me, I could actually prove it for them. But they can't prove it, but they make fun of me. The scientists said so. So you have to believe. Are you an idiot or something? I'd smack the fire out your mouth. Who are you talking to like that? And it's just, it's, 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 it's just frustrating. Like, I want to put hands on some of these people. And I have put hands on somebody who was disrespecting me about the flat earth. And he can improve the round earth. He was saying, just appealing to authority. That's all they do. That's all you, you globe tarts do. Fuck this. I don't want to, I don't want to uh, debate with any layman because all they do is appeal to the science, to the scientist. I want to debate an astrophysicist. I want to debate Neil deGrasse Tyson. I want to, I want to debate somebody. Somebody. I want, somebody resurrect Stephen Hawkins and de have him debate me. I will send him right back to the grave. I will even make Neil deGrasse Tyson shut the hell up for once. I will have him on mute on silence. <sighs> Pisses me off. It's a shame. It's sad. It's disgusting how... All these people have been indoctrinated. Like I said in my last video, people did not believe in the round earth widely, in the textbooks widely, until the end of World War II, when the wrong side of history won the war. Like I said before, the heroes in history are always made into the villains. Take, take, <laughs> take that as you will. But remember, the round earth was never widely accepted until after World War II. Until when the wrong side of history won the war. <sighs> Shit is disgusting. Shit is sickening. I'm back. I said I'm back last time, but I, I lied. I wasn't back. I was busy. I was doing my thug deals, doing my work, getting my bread, getting my money. Um, maybe I'm back. Maybe I'm not. Somebody wants to rebuttal this video, make a rebut to this video. Please do. And maybe I will be back even faster. Respond to rebuttal to my video. You guys Shout out to the real ones who always support. Suck my dick with your mother's lips to the ones who hate. If you like this video, leave a good dislike. If you don't like this video, leave a good dislike, you globe tart fanboy. And I'm out.